Okay, so we covered concentration, pressure, temperature. Last thing you have to be able to talk about is catalyst. How does a catalyst affect the position of equilibrium? That's all we're interested in. Has anybody got any ideas? If I put a catalyst in, is it going to affect? So let's go back to our example that we did. What do you reckon? I had a catalyst. Can we tell me what the catalyst is? Well, part of the process. It's an iron catalyst. So I have in mind iron catalyst. It's reached equilibrium. What effect will that have? What does a catalyst do? It increases the rate of reaction. So it'll increase, how does it do that? It lowers, what did we say, the activation energy. So if I have this, this is an exothermic reaction we said, we said delta H was negative. If we just have a look at our reaction profile, if I've got uh, entropy going up here, Um, here I've got N2 plus 3. That's all. That's fine. I just balance that. Um, 3 H2. Down here I've got 2 NH3. Exothermic goes down. So I add in my activation energy. This is my activation energy. Like so. Ea. How is that going to be different when I add a catalyst? It will be lower. Yeah, brilliant. So my EA with a catalyst is going to look like that. It's lower. So it's going to reduce the activation energy from the forward reaction. But what else does it reduce? It reduces the activation from the backward reaction. So, not only does it increase the rate of the forward reaction, but it also increases the rate of the back reaction. So the position of equilibrium is not affected. So, adding the catalyst, does not affect the position of equilibrium. The rate of the forward reaction and backward reaction are increased by the same amount. So you've got to be very clear, because this comes up quite a lot, what will be the effect of adding a catalyst? Doesn't affect the position of equilibrium, because the rate of the forward and backward reaction increase by the same amount. All it does is it lowers the activation energy for both. 